Morning has broken, like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken, like the first bird. And it opened its beak and said, Allah, apparently. Anyway, a lot of people got quite hot around the collar last week when Geert Wilders was refused entry into the UK. Suddenly they, rem they remembered how much of a supporter of people's right to freedom of expression they were. And they all stood up on the barricades and shouted their support for Geert Wilders and his right to spread his hatred for Islam. Don't get me wrong, I think those people are right. He at Wilders should have the right to express his opinion. Everybody should have the right to express their opinion in public, no matter how unpalatable that opinion is. And if you look at Geert Wilder's opinions, he feels, for example, that the Koran is sort of an equivalent of Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. And his opinion is that the Koran should be banned. Basically, depriving a large number of people from their right to engage in their own religion without harassment. But that's his opinion and he should be free to express it. But it's not a very pleasant opinion, is it? And even though I do agree that the man should have the right to express that opinion and that right should be defended, I can't help but notice that all these people got extremely excited about this freedom of expression when it came to Geert Wilders and his particular Islamophobia his hatred for Muslims and anything to do with Islam where were these people when it came to defending the freedom of expression of for example Zaki Badawi when he tried to get into the U.S. in July 2005 and he was refused entry. Where was the outrage then? Where was the outrage when Yusuf al-Karadawi was refused entry into the U.K. in September 2008, only a couple of months ago, when he came to seek medical treatment in the U.K.? Now this man is also quite an unsavory character. He is a vehement homophobe and he would quite happily restrict a lot of people's freedoms. But that's his opinion. Shouldn't he be allowed to express that in public? Shouldn't he be given the right and the platform to express all this vile hatred in public? Where was the outrage when he was refused that opportunity? Hmm? Where was the outrage when Sheikh Bilal Phillips was refused entry into Australia? Now this is a very nice person, somebody who supports stoning of women and supports the marriage of underage girls to middle-aged perverts. But it's his opinion, shouldn't he be allowed to express that in public? Why weren't you defending his opinion to be an asshole? His right to be an asshole? Hmm? Where were you then? Where were you when Yusuf Islam was refused entry into the US in September 2004? Yusuf Islam. Or you don't know who Yusuf Islam is? Cat Stevens. Seriously, Cat Stevens, the folk singer, yes, Cat Stevens, he was refused entry into the U.S. in September 2004. What was he going to do? Sing a couple of songs? Cat Stevens. There were no Pat Condells 
shouting the odds about the fact that Cat Stevens couldn't get into the U.S. Hmm? Where was the outrage? I can smell hypocrisy. And it stinks. If we're going to support the rights, if we're going to defend the rights of assholes to spread their opinions, as I think we should, we shouldn't. We shouldn't limit ourselves to just the assholes that we like. You know what? You know what? There are millions of people out there, millions of people, who want to be able to express themselves freely, as should be their right. But you know what these people want to do? These people are, for example, homosexuals, who want to just be able to freely express in public the love for their same sex partner as they should be able to do. These are people like atheists or, you know, minority religions who cannot express in public what their philosophical background is. Because you know what? It will lead to ostracizing. These people these people do not want to restrict anybody's right. They just want to be able to lead their own life freely and to express their identity in public. That's all they want. They just want to be themselves and have no fear for prosecution or harassment or that they might, by doing so, hamper their own career prospects, for example. Those are decent, ordinary people who just want to be themselves. But here we are, getting all hot and bothered because one asshole can't get into the UK to be an Islamophobic prick. He should be allowed that right. Absolutely. No doubt about it. But you know what? I, I, as a human being, have only got a limited amount of energy to spend on defending the rights of other human beings. And you know what? I'm not going to spend it on here to will us first. I'm going to concentrate my efforts on decent, ordinary human beings and their rights to just be themselves. If I achieve that, and I still have a bit of spare time left, I will happily come to the aid of Heert Wilders and any other dickhead who thinks they can spew their hatred in public and defend their rights as well. But until then, until then, I am too busy. And Heert Wilders can bloody well fight his own battles on his own.